Well, if you're an Arsenal fan, you're thinking, when are we going to make any signings? Then Pepe arrived, and then as the transfer window shut, Stevie Nicol, they really did get busy. How mm. would you think that their transfer window should be rated overall? Um, I, th I think it has to be a, a, a positive. Um, listen, the clear problem in most people's eyes was defensively. Um, and in some people's eyes, uh, I, c I can hear people saying, well, David Luiz, he's not really a defender. But in the right system, in my opinion, he is. And, and Unai Emery has to go to a three. And if he does that, then this will be perfect for David Luiz. A lot of people will have their say on, on David Luiz and, and being a bit of a strange signing, but a lot of people haven't played in the top flight in England like you have, in a position like David Luiz has played. What is it you think that he can benefit Arsenal with? Well, he was a huge part of Chelsea when uh, last won the Premier League, uh, and that was in a three. Uh, and because he was, he was left to do what he does best, and that is read the game, cover people's back, and then play out from the back. If he's allowed to do that at Arsenal, then he absolutely will make them better. And whoever's beside him, whether it's Mustafi or Socrates or Chambers, it will make their job simple, because all they will have to do is just mark up. Forget about the rest, yeah. he'll do it. You also played for many years at Liverpool in the top flight at fullback. Mm. Kieran Tierney is the new Arsenal left fullback, left wing back. What do you make of that signing for 25 million from Celtic? Uh, I, I think it's a great progression from him. I think he deserves it. Um, he's shown that he's outgrown the Scottish Premier League. He's won everything there. Yes. So now he has to take his game a step further. Can he? I, I think he can. Going forward, he's, he, he's good with the ball. Still has a bit to go to catch Robertson at Liverpool, but he's great with the ball. The question is, can he defend in the Premier League? Uh, and we, we, won't, we can only guess until we see that. Uh, I'm going to guess he's tenacious, uh, and I'm going to guess that he will learn fast. So, yeah, he's a good signing. Now, last season, Arsenal conceded more than 50 goals. They've addressed a couple of those issues with David Luiz, with Kieran Tierney, but middle to front, they could now be lethal. Nicola Pepe, I mean, this boy can catch pigeons, he's that quick, and he's got an end product. Yeah, well, they've signed Pepe and they've let it will be go, um, which I think is, it, it's like for like, but you're, you're losing a guy who had no end product, in my opinion, and it will be, to, to a guy who scores goals and who does have a, an end product. The question is, can they get them the ball? Can they get Pepe the ball and, and Obama Yang the ball uh, on a consistent basis? And that really, for me, is, is the problem for Arsenal now. The fact that they've got a piece at the back, They've got another piece up front. Are they going to be good enough in the middle of the park? Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.